Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. Some of you may or may not know, but as of tomorrow, all Microsoft points will be converted over to a single account, a currency account. So essentially, there's not going to be any more Microsoft points. For example, it'll say you currently have $12 instead of a thousand Microsoft points. So I was reading in the article that they had wrote, it said that they're going to be try to be, <laughs> I find this a little funny, they're going to try to be as accurate as they can. You know, um, currently 800 Microsoft points is $9.99. So say for instance, you know, you've bought a movie or what have you, you bought two movies and you're down to like 200 Microsoft points. They're gonna try to be as accurate as possible to convert, you know, to convert those points over to currency. I don't know. I thought that was a little bit funny. But anyways, um, some of the cons with this is you won't be able to renew, renew your gold membership, which that's how I do a lot of the times. I don't know. You know, most of the time every year, that's how I renew it. I never go to the store. I never get a card, what have you. I do everything through there. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be that big of a deal, but I don't know. Um, also, one of the biggest things is, is that you won't be able to do any kind of third-party subscriptions. And what I mean by that is Netflix, movies, games, apps. You will not be able to purchase them. That's what it said on the thing. Now, there's got to be some kind of way, you know, that they're going to be, you know, go around this. I don't know if they're going to offer you points. <laughs> like, I don't really understand the whole concept behind this. It just really doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, it also said that you will not be able to purchase music until the end of this year, possibly even 2014. Um, on some of the purchases, transactions, whatever, taxes will be applied now. So I pretty much think that the way around all of this is make sure and use your points <laughs> between today and tomorrow. That's what I would do. I don't know. I just don't want to be conned out of my points or, you know, I would like for it to be exact. But anyways, um, they said as of right now that there isn't a cutoff date. Potentially, there could be a cutoff date where, you know, if you have a card laying around or whatever you know, that you may not be able to redeem that card. So say you have a Microsoft card, you know, in your possession and you don't, um, you know, redeem the code or whatever, that at some point they may potentially have a cutoff date for that. So um, I just don't want people, you know, have stuff laying around and then not be able to use it. But then again, if you apply it to your account, they're going to try to be as accurate as possible. So I don't know, just kind of a couple of things that, you know, worth looking into um i would hate the fact that you know for me i really don't have that many <laughs> microsoft points i'm not one of those people i didn't know that individuals actually did so many things through xbox live and stuff you know as far as contests and the rewards and this that and the other so i found out you know quite a few people actually make you know i don't know between 30 and 50 dollars a year in rewards and stuff so but i just don't want you know people to kind of just be screwed per se like i said myself i don't really ever have microsoft points if i you know choose to watch a movie or what have you then i buy it at that time you know and sometimes they'll last me you know a month or two what have you but anyways like i said as of today today will be the last day to purchase um your microsoft points tomorrow it converts over to a currency account so anyways i'm going to leave the link in the description below so make sure and just kind of go read up on it like i said there's some pros some cons for me i don't really see the whole point of it like i'm just like i'm one of those people don't fix it unless it's broke kind of thing and i like it the way it is now also I, i'm not a big fan of the third party subscriptions you know um, as far as not being able to pay them or whatever, because I use Netflix a lot. I watch movies, music, apps, games, whatever. And for them to not, you know, allow you to do such a thing that, I don't know, that's one of the big cons to me. But anyway, so um, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Make sure and go check it out, you know, read up on it for yourself. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.
brought the pain. Time to get paid.